Hi, I'm Bas, co-founder of Clean. We at Clean want to see a world where people don't have to lie to each other. That's why we, nine international entrepreneurs, united and created Clean, a mobile application to give and achieve anonymous feedback within your social networks. Guys, we have a problem. We are not always really honest to each other. Imagine your friend, your boss, has a really weak handshake. Really weak, like a, like a dead fish. But would you tell him face to face? Or would you keep it for yourself? If you keep it for yourself, guess what? Also your friends will behave the same. And you will never, never really know what they think about you and whether you can learn and improve. Our vision is to help people to grow personally. Therefore, we developed Glean. Glean is a mobile application to give and to receive anonymous, honest feedback within your social networks, such as LinkedIn or Facebook. Sounds great, huh? But how is it working? You select a friend, and you can give him feedback on his personal or professional behavior. You select one characteristic, and by swiping it to the right, and the more you swipe it to the right, the more positive the feedback. But if you want to tell him that you can improve, you swipe the characteristic to the left. The good thing is, you can be really honest, because he's not going to know that it was you. Our vision is to have an application that is making feedback easy, fast, and playful. With all the friends that give you feedback, you get a portfolio of your strengths and weaknesses from all the people who really know you. You can use this Glean portfolio to reflect upon yourself and to find solutions to improve. We also track your development over time that you can see all your improvements. Imagine you want to find a job. You can attach your Glean portfolio to your regular CV and convince recruiters of your personality and your recent improvements. On the other hand, we optimize the recruitment process within companies, as the recruiter receives a more objective second opinion on the candidate before he even has to meet him. Doesn't that sound awesome? <laughs> but how are we going to make it running? I mean, if I give you feedback, and you don't use Glean yet, unfortunately, but you're going to receive then a notification that someone gave you feedback. And because you're curious and you want to know what it was, you're also going to start using our app. However, in order to see the results, you have to invite a bunch of other friends that we really ensure the anonymous character and to increase statistical validity. When it comes to personal feedback, it is really important that we have a high quality of data. Therefore, we work together with an expert in the field of educational psychology and psychometrics, Professor Roland Person. Roland is as enthusiastic as we are to help people reflect upon themselves and to develop. You know what's also cool? Because our app is so easy and so fast, we decided to protect it with a patent. However, the core of our whole idea and our whole project is our awesome team. We are ambitious and truly international, as we are based in Sweden, but come from six different countries. We cover all the skills we need to make this successful, 
in terms of marketing, strategy, in terms of design and development. Wouldn't it be great if you could now get your phone and give me feedback on my communicational skills? We are Glean and we want to grow big with your honest feedback. All right. Good job, Stefan. All right, judges, I like it. It's like an emotional clout. Uh, but it, isn't it kind of just like a big popularity contest? No, no, uh, because you really have it only for yourself and it really only shows your own strengths and weaknesses. It's not public and it's not a contest. But of course, if you want to show your recent development, you can share it with your friends, for example, on Facebook. Judges. So don't you, don't you have a... Isn't there going to be a sort of a communication bias? I mean, the only reason I'm going to fill that out is if I don't like something that you're doing. So therefore, all of the data is going to skew negative? That's exactly what we don't want. We don't want to have offensive behavior. We want to really make sure that people want to help each other. Of course, we also see that we only develop ourselves further when we get some critics and some, some more points where we can improve ourselves and our idea. But we really want to focus on the positive communication. That's why we have a list. The list you saw on the app of the characteristics is pre-selected to avoid this kind of offensive negative approach. But then how valuable is that really? Like if you're only giving me feedback on stuff that's positive and you're not giving me feedback on stuff that's negative, like how, how's that adding value to me? We don't give you only feedback on the positive sides, but we tell you there you can improve. It's not like there you suck and you should maybe um, um, find big help because you, you cannot deal it with on your own. No, we want to really communicate it. My friend, my colleague, here we see that you can improve and we would like to help you with our feedback. It is a way of communicating it more positively, but we also want to make sure that the user really gets value out of it. I guess my question is, um, do you need to be more specific for the feedback to be useful? If I just get the score on the eight criteria, and the first example you gave is the wet handshake. I can't get that out of the current tool. Not what yet. I really want is specific, useful feedback. Right. The problem with that is then you start writing that, and then you start to recognize people's writings. I'm having my first employer had a lot of anonymous feedback, but people got very good at working out who had actually left the feedback because they know people's different writing styles, people's different use of English. You get to work out exactly who gave you that feedback. Exactly. So what's the, where's the sweet spot here? That's exactly the point why we don't use written feedback. What we see so far out there is people writing each other, and as you said, you can always get to know who, who it was. But we, and if you as a user want to have detail, more detailed feedback, you can select items that we also pre-selected in a long list to ensure quality and, and um, more a positive approach. You can select another item to add to your list that your friends can give you feedback on that as well. And, uh, I mean, uh, feedback is very intimate and personal, so why wouldn't I just ask five or ten of my uh, friends or colleagues to, to give it to me di directly and, and use this very indirect way? Right. Um, we use this approach because we exactly want to decrease the burden of the personal approach. We see our tool as the first initiative to really give feedback when you don't really want to say it, if you, if you don't dare to approach them directly because you always see like it's not the right time, it's not the right situation. So we see this as a really a decrease of the burden to approach the person directly. Which Hello. is of course Last better. Question. Yes, and I would like to go back to actually the, the timing because when is it that I will pull up the app and give the feedback? Because you know if I do I do it right after I feel oh the wet handshake, well I will, you know, pull up my app and that will probably be very distincting to the person that, oh, it was after that dinner, after that meeting, I get some feedback and it, it can't be that anonymous. And if I wait, as you say, you don't want to do it directly, uh, will I forget it and how do I you know, get notified and all that stuff? I mean, that's the big advantage of the app. You can do it, of course, rather insensitively when you do it instantly, right after. But I mean, you also can, when you wait on the bus, when you, uh, when you just have the time to help people and provide them with feedback that helps them out, you can use it and um, exactly then it is, it is totally uh, independent from, from the time. 
Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, big round of applause for Glean.